Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I know it's been a really long time since I filmed a video and I apologize, but let me just explain, all right? First off, I've been really seriously searching for a new car. There's, I've narrowed it down to two cars. It's kind of like my first big purchase. So I really am putting a lot of time and energy into that and making sure I do it the right way. And I also started a new job. It has actually been really great so far. Um, I work at a performing arts center here in town, um, right smack dab downtown. It's this huge performing arts center. It's got three theaters in it and it's legit. So that's why I wanted to make this video today. I spent a very long time trying to find a job. I thought that the job that I had last was going to be this great, amazing experience. I, I learned a lot. I learned so much when I worked there. Not necessarily good things, but it's all things that helped me grow and learn as a person. I know the struggle, okay? I know the struggle of being unemployed and trying to find a new job. It's the, literally one of the most depressing things ever. And I know the struggle of being miserable in a job that you have, like for real miserable to the point where it makes you physically ill. I was getting physically sick every day going to work. I was having um, headaches and migraines every single day. Every day I was popping pills because I was having headaches every single day but now that I've started this new job I haven't had a headache in since I've started this job I know there are so many people out there that are needing new jobs and I know it's frustrating and it's discouraging and I wanted to make this video to give you a few tips on how to find a new job okay so the first thing about a job search which I think is one of the most important things is organization you need to be organized when you're searching for jobs you can't just apply all types of places willy-nilly you need to know what's going on I got a Google Doc and I did a spreadsheet and I did what position I was applying for, what company I was applying for, what date I applied for, and a little blurb about what the job title was about. So I've been in situations before, actually the job that I have right now, I applied for willy-nilly. It was at a, a point in time where I'd for real just given up and I just applied for it and I didn't write it down and they called me three days later and I had applied for so many jobs, I was like, I don't even remember what the job title is. Don't forget about your references. A lot of people apply for jobs and just kind of don't really think about references or have references from like five, 10 years ago. You really wanna make sure that the people who you are getting your references from are reputable people who will actually have good things to say about you and who will also remember you. If a, if a job is really really interested in hiring you the first thing they're gonna do is contact your references and you want to make sure that they're good people who aren't crazy who have you know reputable jobs who can give you a good recommendation okay another tip that I think is very important it happened to me is don't close off other job opportunities of course you get into a motion when you're applying for so many jobs every day that you just kind of apply and when you get a nibble here or a nibble there everything else doesn't matter and you just want that job because you've been at it for so long earlier this year i had a really great opportunity with um terrapin the terrapin beer company uh it's a craft beer company based out of athens they put me in this really nice hipster hotel and i am a sucker for hipsters okay and it was just a really exciting opportunity the city was perfect like the city of athens is hipster town all right and i loved every second of it i wanted that job so so bad it was literally a graphic design position at a beer company it was the perfect job okay I didn't even think to apply for other jobs I was like oh they're paying for me to stay in a hotel like they're paying for everything this is I've got this in the bag and I stopped applying for jobs some time went by and it turns out that another candidate got it over me and I had wasted so much time not applying for jobs another mistake that people make a lot is avoiding temporary jobs and um, I just want to say that that is the biggest mistake you could ever make so you have to have to have to try temporary jobs because a lot of times if you do well and you do the right things they'll want you to stay um, they'll keep asking you to stay and eventually they'll just cut the middleman with the temp agency and just try to get you hired on another thing that I always used to think was just so grimy and just slimy was you have to keep your networking circle big Ugh. I never really liked it because I felt like you were using people 
in a way you kind of are keep your networking pool big um, you just and, and this will happen when you work more jobs and meet more people you'll meet people and you'll develop relationships with them you never know when you'll need to use them as a reference and they can obviously give good reference for you because they know you as a person and they like you you need to send a thank you note I, I know a lot of people might think that this is old-fashioned um, but after you have a job interview just send out a thank you note um, and I mean like a handwritten thank you note literally send it the day you have your interview like when you leave your interview put it in the mail and don't write it before you have your interview because it'll seem fake and forced if you write it after your interview you'll have points and thoughts that you can say that that lets them know that oh wow she really was listening it's a last gesture to let them remember you job searches are really really hard and they're really stressful and really discouraging I started seriously looking for a job in November of 2014 and I didn't get a job offer until March of 2015 so that that was some months of serious job searching and it can get so discouraging because it seemed like everyone around me was getting a job and I wasn't and I felt like I was working really hard but don't let it discourage you you have to keep trying so you just have to stay focused on you and what you're doing and don't worry about anyone else just worry about your job search try my tips there are plenty of other tips anything you can think of comment down below and I really really wish you luck in your job search and trust me it is so worth all the hard work when you find a job that you actually like and that you're growing and you're learning new things every day um, so yeah if you like this video like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later good luck